The division algorithm. Before we can perform it, we need a definition. The division algorithm. Let f of x and g of x be polynomials with g of x of lower degree than f of x and g of x degree one or more. There exist a unique polynomials q of x and r of x such that f of x is the product of g of x and q of x with remainder r of x. Okay, now that we got the definition, I've got this. My function is g of x, some other function, times the quotient of x upon division plus some remainder of x. Why don't we get an example? Okay, so I got a couple of functions. Yeah, it's not a special linear factor, so we're probably gonna have to go old school on our division. So we go old school. Who's in the house? Yeah, f of x is in the house. Because what am I looking for? I'm looking for f of x divided by g of x. Uh-huh. Okay. So then on the inside, I'm going to have x to the fourth. Yeah. Minus 2x to the third plus 30. x is squared plus 20 plus x plus 1. Okay. Looks like we're going to have to make our house a little bit bigger. Mm-hmm. And then out the house, I'm going to put g of x. x squared plus 10. Oh, boy. So now I go through this old school division. Mm-hmm. What am I going to multiply x squared by to get x to the fourth? Oh, wait. I think I'm going to multiply by um x squared. Yes. So then I'm going to multiply this by x squared. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to put it in the x squared column right there. Okay. This one times that one, put it there. X to the fourth. This one times that one, put it where? That's in the x squared term, so I'm gonna put it right there. Yes, 10x squared. Oh, boy. Then I change the sign. I like to circle it. Let's me know I've changed it. And I add down. Here I'm gonna get no x to the fourth minus two x to the third. Looks like that's plus 20 x's squared. Yeah, and I'm just going to bring everything on else down. Yeah, plus 20x plus 1. Fun. What am I going to multiply x squared by to get a, 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 a minus 2x to the third? It appears it's going to be a minus 2. Oh, oh, minus 2x. Okay, this one times that one, put it there. Yes, minus 2x to the third. This one times that one, put it where? Right there. Oh, boy. So that's a minus 20x. Uh-huh. Yeah. Then I'm going to change the signs. I like to circle it. Let's me know I've changed it. And add down. No x to the third. The desired effect. Yes. This is 20x squared. Uh-huh. Plus 40x. And then I'm going to bring down that 1. Plus 1. What am I going to multiply x squared by to get 20 x squared. Yes, 20 plus 20. And I put that in my constant category. Then I take this one times that one and put it there. 20 x squared. This one times that one, put it where? Right here. Yeah. Oh, wait, really? 200? Can you tell I just made up the numbers? Uh-huh. And then I change the sign. I like to circle it. Let me know I've changed it. And I add down. No x squared. The desired effect. Plus 40x minus 199. I think that's the numbers. But I don't want you to lose sight of the forest by looking at the trees. What do I want you to do? I want you to write it using our division algorithm. Okay. Yes. This says, this says we're going to be able to rewrite our f of x. As the product of g of x, that was our divisor, mm -hmm. x squared plus 10 times our quotient, that was this guy up here, uh -huh. x squared minus 2x plus 20 plus some remainder 
Okay, and that would be this guy right down here. Plus 40x minus 199, and then what? And a flower.